also Bitch. making me and also making me kill my sister. Mary could still be a vampire, you know. Mary. Possibly, but I saw that her throat was practically torn out by his uh, fangs. Don't oh, vampires have regeneration? I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Nurse Gray. We found a doctor! He's covered in blood! Oh, Doctor, what a we night. Found we lost a two surgeon. more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, oh, well, good. I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Doctor, sec doctor quarterly or physically? Yes, Doctor. Yes. Doctor Reed here has just returned <laughs> from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news ah, indeed, Dr. Oh, yes. Ah, 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 I see How do you do the transfusion, sir? With my mouth. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll Duly catch up noted. after my rounds. Coming, Nurse, Nurse Crane. Crane. Like, Get I'm coming. Get here. He's dead. He's dead. dead no, doctor. Nurse, what's Ligma? He's Ligma dying my of balls. Oh. He's dying of Ligma. He's not dead. Oh. Rotten or crusty, each heart contains the seeds of life. Um. Drink at this river. Dry it all. Mmm. I. What's up, bud? Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, Am I? I will. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Oh. Be more quiet, sir. I've a mind to let you bleed out. Good luck then, sir. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Name's Clay I know it's Reed, but whenever someone says Reed, my mind goes to weed, to and I'll supposed to be like, haha, me, John Mr. Weed. Cox, let me assist you <laughs> to that Weed. better place. Jonathan Weed! Oh my god, the dick, a the dick asshole was like, the dick asshole? The fucking prick! Last name Cox. Yeah! <laughs> oh, British names are so fucking stupid. In the best way possible. Mesmerize. Oh, I could uh, spare him, or I could drink his blood. This fading light into the shadows. Dance with him, the dance of life and death. I mean, that's up to you. You're the one deciding what playthrough you're doing. I'll trust your judgment, level five. Okay. Forced. Are you thirsty? Race, they can feed upon them. There will be consequences. Are you okay with paying those consequences? Dum dum, dum dum. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Slave boys. What? <laughs> He's just like, uh, what now? The fuck do you mean by that? I mean, I can still. Drink his blood in the future. Uh -huh. But, uh, I know that, uh, killing someone and drinking from them lowers the stability of the, uh, for the district. Who sometimes let his prey go. Oh. But no famished hunter. So it's kind of like, um. God, what was that? I know, um. Dun -dun. Oh my god, what was it called? Dun -dun. Um. Dun, dun. Dishonored, um, like, like the more people you kill, like the worse, uh, like, a sickness gets or something like that. 
Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Nice. You see where nice. it has, like, healthy hair. If I drink someone, it'll drop down. Probably to mm -hmm. stable. Then if I continue drinking, it'll go to serious. And then, uh, once it reaches, uh, critical, the whole area becomes hostile with, uh, hunters and other, uh, monsters. Oh, no oh, shit! So it almost, like, pays to not... Right. It pays to be or, nice! And you can increase a uh, district's uh, standing by curing people. Nice. Hell yeah. So it's those kind of things like um, like games that kind of have like a good or bad kind of thing is like. Right. And here um, you, you can like balance out how the blood, like drinking people's blood versus not, and still keep like a good district running. Doctor. Have you but, been? Uh, I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. You got it. Found a wounded man by the docks. He the game's like, the uh, like infamous. Urgent yeah, like attention. a good and a bad. Mm -hmm. Already making the rounds. It's like that's the Pembroke spirit. I always did the good I'll first because it was harder. Immediately. Yeah. Thank and you, then nurse. the bad one, you can just go ham and I not care about anything. Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. I was really hoping for a new infamous floor, game for name on the door. Thank PS5 someday. Nurse Crane, isn't it? One day oh, I might yes. actually go Dorothy through a uh, vampire run. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Vampire. I think there's a, like a... Thank you, Nurse Crane. Dun, dun. I think there's like a different endings where if you don't kill anyone, you get like a one ending and then if you kill like a few people another and then a third Undertale. ending possibly for like yeah. how many people you've fed from so exactly let me talk Undertale. about let me talk about undertale for a bit because there's this one ending i think you guys would actually be really interested in where you kill everyone but papyrus in sands oh papyrus becomes king Sans helps him out and becomes less right. lazy, but Papyrus this place seems perfect to conduct does not seem to recognize slash know that, you know, everyone's dead and you killed them. Oh. There's endings where Undyne could be alive, but no one else is, or there's endings where t everyone's alive but Toriel. Like, every choice you make matters, and that's something I kind of appreciate with games like this. I don't know, I like games where it's like, the choice matters, but like, it also makes me so nervous because I'm like... What if I pick the wrong one? Oh god! I feel that. I also felt that. So many people I can drink from. Sir. <laughs> no mercy In the name of... Ah. Nurses are needed now. Acquire the nearest appointments. Office in the Ministry of Labor and National Service are right to 15 Kingsway, London. You can see this guy got messed up from the uh, front of the war, probably. Good evening, sir. Oh. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Thomas pretty. Elwood. Thomas Elwood. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, <laughs> sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars. If you get my Never. drift. Pain taco. Pain taco. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem Aww. worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. 
Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. So he ends up in the front lines no and... No offense. You know. <laughs> Goodbye Neat. for now, Mr. Albert. Bye! Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, sir, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. He's Here, just like, I must apologize for my behavior. Office. I didn't finish the you job. Perfectly I didn't nice finish the job. A little and he just brings out his steak and starts trying to stab you, and like, Jonathan's like, fuck! <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so well, much. Well, the morning to you, laddies. My name is Jack Septicai. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe I still all think I need the doctor's like the one who turned you. What do you for do for a it? living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. Aww. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Oh, he's one of the good ones. That's good. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Oh. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of a faith deacon. willing to preach the good word. Deacon, a token. Have you a deacon made token. since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke? Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process. You know. I'm so sorry for being quiet. Just I promise no. I'm having fun, but I'm just like really no invested doctor. in the story right now. I truly mm. honest. Yeah. I thought she was dead. You're really trying she not to talk as much like ago. when characters are talking. Yeah, because like it just feels rude to do it. I don't know, like I'm kind of doing it right now. I've been uh, focusing hard on it too. I'm so sorry. No, I meant like on the dialogue and everything. Yeah, because it's like everything kind of connects in a weird way because Berkeley might be connected to the dude who transformed you and stuff like that, but he was also doing the crimes, right? Well, yeah. one of the people. And he's fucking like dead now. So it's like your lead on the person who probably turned you, who's probably the big bad of all this big ring, is now dead. Hooray. But now you have a dude who survived it and, you know. <clears throat> what is the general situation? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers' trade union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I've had this nickname for so long, you know? The sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint. Not even criminals. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show. With the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. That was the guy I fucking found. Oh shit. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarm so, about his recent So, someone's day. just turning people his... right and left, or is it by accident, or does he mean to turn people? How did you end up? That's a good 
You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying uh -huh. to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for light. Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Do you know Tom? Tom yes, Watts. of course. Always the helping hand. Of course I know Tom. Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authority I like this guy. I hope he stays the good. Is nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. Have a good day, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. I hope he survives. Hi. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. Ah, uh, she looks tweaked. Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. Ah. Uh you're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And She's gonna be surprised. Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. <laughs> rocker isn't she i'm assuming you must be a patient here am i right miss howcroft it's only a cover to hide from my enemies i can leave whatever i want as a yeah woman, she's out of it a spirit fog or bat yeah she's out yep she's crazy who are these enemies you mentioned can you describe them i cannot say for sure but i sense their eyes on me from nearby i i, I feel do, 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 every do, do, do. time i visit the garden near the morgue The staff here are not your enemy. Yeah? They're here to help you. I thought you said K for a minute, so I, I got curious. Oh, oh. I uh, uh. me, For I am a vampire. I see. Yeah. Don't Yeah. Worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere <laughs> with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. No! Uh -huh. Good on you, Thelma. I have a good one. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. You know what I feel in my hollow shell of flesh? Despair. Have Despair. you ever heard of Cotard syndrome, Miss Halcroft? Oh, it's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients. Oh, the vampires in this room is gay. Oh. oh. Dead. A ghost or a ghoul. How's it or feel? In case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And well, you I mean, he's it a vampire. Is I who am delusional. Good. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of pustulant and blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. Have a good one. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. I wish I could be sick again. Hmm. Vampire, huh? Vampires just keep getting weirder and weirder. I don't think Velma's a vampire. I think she's just kind of out of it. 
I know that you know, there's like an actual like mental thing where people actually do think that they're uh, vampires and whatnot. Yeah, it's a. It's like a cultural was... disease thing. A disease. This must be the place. That makes it's you. It's definitely away from think. prying eyes. I like how Google's like Relegated a disease that makes you look younger. A kingdom of my own. <laughs> At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. At least I won't be asleep. Rainfield syndrome or Rainfield syndrome is a, a obsession with drinking blood. Mm. Or porophia. While rabies is likely an expansion from the aggressive behavior of vampires and the transmutation of vampires in the abiding. Basically, a lot more key characteristics is with porphyria. Contact. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Medicine would not survive in this world. Bruh. He would die. He's too fabulous for that world. Exactly. Fabulous. Fabulous! Fabulous! Darling! Oh, yes! Oh! So does the, the items, like, kind of have, like, a, a, a color rating, like... Yeah, you, you can know, uh, the... upgrade them from used to common to more elite things. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Why didn't I upgrade the surge? <clears throat> William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. Yes. I must keep on searching. Must the keep sun on searching. is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. Good night! I have so much time now. You do. Oh, so it's a shield. Uh, different abilities here. Shield. I'm gonna get myself some sweet tea. <clears throat> Fuck, I don't have enough blood points. Oh. Save! I feel like it's gonna make me... ...have to... ...confirm... ...the following night. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete. I better learn coach. to hide my true nature from the Because he's a doctor. But what about my thirst? Uh -huh. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so See, sorry. her shirt is covered in blood, too, to and no rest, one's batting an eye. Have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. Well, I was hoping there was another box up here, blood. but... Oh. 
What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. What's up, gamers? I got sweet tea. Sweet tea, gamer. Sweet tea and lemonade, motherfucker! The best combo. Into the old morgue. Yeah, I have to go to the morgue since, uh... They, they're running really low on antiseptic, so I have to go get uh, chemicals from, uh... Household objects to extract and then use for, uh... Medical shit. 